this country, you gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the money. That's why you gotta make your own moves. Whoa, what's going down, YouTube? It's your boy Sock checking back in, baby. Um, first thing first, today is my last day of parole, baby. Shout out, man. After today, if you're watching this, the Mr. Walker is done with the criminal justice system forever. <laughs> but um, I appreciate all the love and support from the fan base, man. Uh, today is a happy day, you feel me? But we're gonna tell a story today too, though. You feel me? All right. So with that said, man, I thank everybody for the love and support that's been helping the kid grow. We jumping straight into the story today. You get in prison right. for the first time, man. Everybody asks questions in the county before you go down there to prison. That's just some common shit, you know what I'm saying? Unless you just don't give a damn. <laughs> when I was asking questions, man, um, about prison, that shit crazy. I never asked about the ride to get to prison, like how you know what I'm saying? So. Check this out. I'm going to tell y'all about that experience when they came and got me from the county to go to prison. All right, baby. It's early in the morning. It's like 4 30, 5 o'clock in the morning. They come in, a whole bunch of motherfucking chains, shackles, and shit. And we hopping on. They loading us up. We finna go head to prison from the county. Um, I'm shackled to an old school guy. He's kind of older. Uh, but shit, you know me. This is my first time hitting prison. So I'm when we hop on the bus, we sit in. Uh, I'm asking a million motherfucking questions. Hey, yeah, shit, I need to know what's going on. I'm asking me questions. What happens when we get there? Um, the whole nine, but old school, he done been down like four times already. He a motherfucking veteran, and I'm a rookie. So I'm a rookie asking the veteran, like, what to expect, shit like that. And we talking about everything. We have a conversation about when we get there. You know, old school, we chopping it up. So the bus take off. We ride for about 45 minutes. Everybody on the bus, we talking. It's pitch dark outside. It's like 5 o'clock, 5.30 in the morning. I've never, ever been outside of Dallas Metroplex um, before I went to prison. So... About 45 minutes, an hour into the ride, people start dozing off. Mine just like five something in the morning, people start dozing off on the prison bus, going to sleep. You know how everybody be talking at first and then. So I'm not knowing, first thing first, I'm not knowing. Um, I always knew Texas was big, but I have never been outside of the metro place. So I'm on this bus. We get about an hour, hour, 15 minutes in, y'all. Um, I'm not knowing we got like a five-hour drive. So I'm thinking like, shit, we'll be there in the next hour. You feel me? I never asked school like how long it would take to get there. But I'm looking to the left. And school, he half-assed falling asleep, too. I didn't talk to him to death, y'all. Just trying to find out shit. So I'm looking to the left. I got the window right here. So school, my the guy I'm shackled to, he falling asleep. So I'm like, damn. Man, I can't talk to him no more. He going to sleep. I guess I'll do some, some sightseeing, y'all. I'm just going to stare out the window and see just what I can see, man. And this is when shit got super, super scary, y'all. So on prison bus, they got these little holes you can look out. And so I'm looking and trying to see, looking at the holes, and the sun is starting to come up. You know, it's about 6, 6.15. We've been on this bus about an hour and 45 minutes. So I'm like, damn, I know it's going to be something in sight, y'all. Remind you, we're in Texas. Texas is huge. I've never been outside of the Metroplex, Dallas area, which we consider the city in Texas. You feel me? So I'm looking out this window, y'all. Um... We've been on this bus for like an hour, 45 minutes. So it's like 30 minutes go by. And I'm looking for any kind of sign of a building, a house, a home, a residence, anything. So I'm now I'm like, I know I'm not tripping, man. I know I just seen, I'm seeing nothing but grass. I'm seeing nothing but trees. It's half dark. The sun coming up. This is some movie type shit. So I'm like, man, uh, like I've never been to prison before. I'm not knowing this four or five hour ride. So... I'm getting nervous and shit. So I'm like, maybe, man, maybe we, I'm tripping, man. Maybe I see a house or a building in the next five, ten minutes. I wish you not. Yeah, I sat on that bus for 30 minutes riding again. And I didn't see not a fucking human being in sight. Not a human. I seen animals, cows, shit like that, and a lot of land, a lot of grass, shit like that. 
So now I'm getting nervous than a motherfucker, man. And I like, so I'm looking around the motherfucking bus, seeing who I can talk to, cause this nigga right here sleep. By the way, I'm gonna tell y'all about him too. Oh, that stank breath was out of there, man. But I'm gonna tell y'all about him too. So he half ass going to sleep, and you know how people like there's when you shoot sitting shoulder to shoulder with when you sitting shoulder to shoulder with somebody, and there's nowhere to really you know if you lean this way you're out in the middle of the aisle. If you lean this way, you're on my shoulder. So this motherfucking old man, y'all, started motherfucking dozing off going to sleep, just leaning on my shoulder. So he, you know how you half ass, I wake his ass up, you know. Look, I say school. We've been on this bus for like two hours, man. I think we lost, man. There hasn't been a house, a restaurant, a gas station. There hasn't been shit in sight in the last 30 minutes scared y'all because there's still a lot of fucking prejudice and racism you go to some of these motherfucking towns in, t in texas and your ass ain't supposed to be there yes just put it like this you're gonna be on a on a cart on a milk cart missing you're gonna come up missing and and so like i said i'm still seeing these motherfucking trees i know for damn well i see nothing but trees and motherfucking and there ain't no a good sign when you see nothing but trees and desert I watched enough motherfucking mob movies. I know what happens when you don't see no houses, land, shit like that in, in motherfucking sight. So I'm getting worried. I'm at school. He, I'm at school. He half ass dozing off. He ain't got a worry in the world. Now I'm getting mad at him, y'all, because I tell him, get to stay up, man. You know, because you you done been through this shit before. You know if they trying to take us somewhere and do some shit to us. And he, every time, he, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. So look, I'm getting mad, so he falls asleep on my shit. Y'all know me. I yank my motherfucking shoulder. Get your ass up. Get up. He I say school, man. He like youngster, man. Don't worry about that, man. We'll be there in a little bit. We're gonna have some good food. This nigga worrying about Y'all know what he tell me. Y'all know what he tell me when I wake his ass. I'm almost there, youngster, man. Shit. I wonder what they got for lunch. I said, man, this nigga worried about some motherfucking lunch. They taking us to, to the boondocks. No motherfucking houses. Not a human being in sight. And this nigga worried about some motherfucking food, man. So no, so now I'm getting worried to death. Everybody's asleep. I'm looking around and shit. And you ain't finna get me. I ain't finna just be wake up in nowhere and, and, and we in the boondocks. You ain't finna get me like that. So I, I'm, I know it's my mission to stay up this whole motherfucking time, y'all. So I'm fighting my sleep and shit. I'm looking around. Everybody's asleep. I want to know where the fuck we going. I'm the only motherfucker out of 50 people up on this bus, y'all. I'm, 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 you ain't finna motherfucking take me anywhere, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to motherfucker. So I'm looking around, looking around, looking around. 30 minutes before we hit the motherfucking unit, I don't know what happened, y'all. I went to sleep. I fell, I went to sleep, man. The how I woke up scared the shit out of me. So I'm sleeping against the window, man. And I don't know what the bus driver, it was a, a loud pop. This is how I wake up. All I heard was. And jump, man. When I jumped, it was Simon Taylor's. All I heard was screaming. Oh, my hand. I stood up and grabbed for some shit. The whole, all I heard was, oh, my hand. I almost took old school shit. Clean off. I was like, yo. <laughs> all I heard was, oh, youngster, my hand. I said, oh shit, my bad school, cause I'm still up, I'm still handcuffed to him, y'all. Remember I'm handcuffed to this nigga, man. So when I jump, this nigga whole hand come with me, y'all. I ain't boo. All I heard was, all I heard was, oh! I was dead when I woke up, y'all, cause I was already scared on the way there, thinking they finna take us to the boom die. Man, I yanked school arm so motherfucking hard when they took the handcuffs out. He had imprints and shit, but they were laughing like a bitch at me, man. But it is what it is. So we keep pushing, baby. I'm telling you, it took like five hours to get to the unit. When we finally get to the unit, it was so much motherfucking chaos. They handled the prison shit out for y'all, man. That was the prison ride. That was my first ever prison ride. Um, that was my first ever ride to prison in Texas, man. And it's a lot of royal areas. I have never seen trees and so much motherfucking land in my life, y'all. You just hear some of the stories in Texas about some of these royal, some of these other cities that still, you know, and shit, hell yeah, it scared the shit out of you. But um, 
Thank everybody for tuning in for that quick little old story. Shout out, baby. Next time you see me, I will be in the streets, man. Until next time, it's been real.